My name is Kent Jones, and I'm the president of SAF Holland uh, Americas, which includes Canada, U.S., Mexico, and all of South America and Latin America. Well, the Mexican market is a tremendously important market for uh, SAF Holland. Um, it, it, and it comes in two or three in two or three ways. Um, it, we have in, had a long time presence in, in the Mexican market with very high share. Our products have been highly specified uh, on trucks and trailers over the past many decades, and it's created a large aftermarket for our products. So we need to service those fleet customers uh, as well. But it still also represents a big growth market for us. The Mexican economy continues to expand. Uh, the specifications that Mexican uh, fleets and uh, OEM builders uh, continue to grow and we see that we can be a, a, a quite large participant uh, in the Mexican market for many decades in the future. Well, we, SAF Holland is a global company um, and we make products that service customers regionally and whether those regions are in Europe, uh, or in Asia, or um, even in North America, there are subtle specification differences between the U.S. Uh, and Mexico. So, we are also a premium brand. We 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 have we represent premium um, products that have long life and durability. We have safety related uh, components, and there are at times when our 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 specifications uh, don't always fit the Mexican market. So, things need to happen in two ways. We need to make sure that we're presenting products to the Mexican market that are the most attractive for those end users to present the most safest products and the uh, uh, the most reliable products. But yet they're also done in a, an economic and value way uh, that, that the Mexican users can um, afford to run them and can afford to service them uh, as well. And that's a combination at times that um, uh, is, is challenging. Um, we know that in, a lot of competition in, in, in Mexican markets and, uh, but we think changes that we're making uh, are going to position us well for the future. Well, um, <clears throat> as we witnessed at the, uh, uh, the expo fair in, in uh, Puebla, you couldn't go from booth to booth without seeing the the evidence of the three giant megatrends that are existing globally. And there's no doubt that they're existing as well in the Mexican market. It's of electrification, uh, autonomous driving, and digitalization basically is of the of the information. And SAF Holland is participating in all three of these in a, in a very in a very strong way. In, in uh, uh, electrification, we have a new Track R product that is a electrified axle for trailers that basically creates a, uh, a, a power station to to uh, generate electricity on the trailer to help charge a, a battery on the trailer. They could run trailer accessories or uh, in, in a target case, uh, run a refrigerated trailer. This technology we think will be prevalent throughout the world. Um, it's happening already today in Europe under field trials. It's picking up in the US. And we think there's a strong case for that that we can participate in Mexico. Um, on the autonomous side, while there's still some, some you know, years away for that's gonna be a fully fledged technology, uh, one of the key elements of, of, of fixing the driver shortage that exists everywhere in the world is if, if there's autonomous trucks that can go from point to point, you still have to be able to connect this truck and trailer. Well, SAF Holland has been connecting trucks and trailers for decades. We've been doing it mechanically, but we think we can also participate in connecting the truck and trailer for both the air and electrical as well. So we have technologies that uh, can improve efficiency of connecting the truck and trailer, allow a more efficient use of the driver, or perhaps not even the driver at all. And then of course on the digital technology, um, while we think it's our responsibility to make sure we're producing products uh, in the marketplace that are presenting information that can be aggregated and sent to the fleet users. So you're gonna see items from us that include brake wear indicators, um, you know, bearing life indicators, temperature sensors, um, uh, positive information, whether the truck and trailer are connected, is the landing gear deployed or not deployed, and present that information uh, to a data aggregator that can then present it to the fleet customer to make their overall uh, fleet operation more efficient. And uh, SAF Holland is uh, working on and deploying those technologies right now. Well, I'll tell you what, I was incredibly impressed by the trade show uh, that existed in Mexico. And it had been, unfortunately, it had been a couple of years since 
we had had the trade show, but the pandemic, um, you know, first and foremost, uh, um, the Pueblo trade show was very warm and welcoming and the, and, and the, and the participation by the vehicle OEMs and the trailer OEMs and the suppliers uh, was incredible. Uh, it was a very professionally well done trade show that you can see the maturity of the Mexican uh, marketplace. Quite frankly, it's it, it's been the best trade show in all of North America that I've seen in the last uh, uh, four or five years. So uh, I had just come from the IAA show and qu quite not on that scale. It certainly had all the elements of that as well. We did very high quality business meetings as well during the trade show. We got to meet with business owners, uh, leaderships from OEMs, from fleet users, um, and then the networking uh, with our other peers. So. Um, I want to congratulate the, the, the Mexican transportation industry, um, keep making the commitment to this particular show, bringing all of the thought leaders together in, in one environment uh, is incredibly impressive. And SAF Holland, you can bet, will continue to invest in, in these technologies to support the Mexican market. Well, my, my only final words are, um, I love doing business in Mexico. The people are so warm, the best food in the world, uh, no question about that. We had business meetings that started from seven in the morning till uh, um, you know 10 o'clock and later in the evening. And uh, I, I love doing business in Mexico and, and can't wait to see you guys again uh, you know, next year or in two years. Thanks.